Hey yo, what's up? I'm here with my hat backwards. I thought I would say something before anybody else did. Uh, <laughs> I think I've worn my hat backwards on stream today. I mean, on stream before. But for some reason, as soon as I switched over to y'all being able to see me, I got really self-conscious about it. <laughs> Alrighty. So, um, we're finally starting Rotation 7 in the main hood of Toxic Black Mesa. So this is our new family that I'm introducing this rotation. Um, you might recognize this guy. This is Kent Butler. Kent Butler. Look at him with his little eyebrow raised. Looking real inquisitive. Actually a really good photo right off the bat, dude. Dude. You're awesome, Kent. Let's see if I can get a better photo. Oh, look. Ah, with all of them in the shot, dude. Oh, but let me get rid of this. Ah, nice. Ah, scissor name. There we go. Oh, yeah. And look, it didn't even take me out of the game. I'm a professional. But so while we're in this mode, so the um, Kent is the one with his eyebrow raised. Um, he is the cop that was calling Allison before um, Gary was murdered, who um, is the reason why this team was assembled. So Kent was just a street cop, and um, the advisory who runs the academy, who basically runs the town from behind the scenes, because they're the ones um, in charge of... Uh, the repopulation of Black Mesa after this big white flash that took everybody out in like, I think I said like 1985 or something like that. And yes, I'm making all this up. <laughs> so, um, they promoted him. Well, really, they're giving him the opportunity to prove himself as like a detective. You know what I mean? So he's undercover now. He's, everyone thinks, <laughs> I bet nobody, I bet everyone knows he's a cop. There's no way, right? He's not undercover. Look at him. They're all wearing the same outfit. That was silly. I mean, even insinuate. So he's a detective now. Everybody knows that. So, but he also works in a different um, field. It's the uh, slacker field. Um, I think I might change that though, because like, why does he need to do that? Because I'm just gonna be giving them money, like, because they're get like like they're getting paid from the government. Uh. Anyways, enough about him. But he was the one who was contacting her beforehand and checking in on her afterwards. He would just call her. So, um, he really wants to meet up with her today and, um, just, you know, really pick her mind about everything that happened and get her side of the story. Because nobody knows who killed Gary. No one has, like, any earthly idea. I mean, people have, like, their suspicions, but that's about it. Um... <clears throat> Redhead here, I forgot his name, so we'll do him last. So, um, Orange, Orange, <laughs> um, her name is, uh, Thalina Vortex. Nikki named her Thalina, because I couldn't think of a name for her. Um, she was created in the same lab that our other sins were created in, and we'll go into that a little bit later when I get into the story, because I have all this written out. Um, during um, the hurricane and we didn't have power um, or anything. I barely had cell service, so I was barely even able to do this. But I wrote um, basically this whole rotation out already because I had nothing else to do. So I'm very excited to revisit what I like wrote because I kind of forgot. So we'll see. Anyways. So this guy right here. I've, Shay Jacobson. He's called um, people to throughout the town. Um, he has a terrible relationship with Demi, which is funny. Um, so he's just like the senior detective. This is like their secret weapon, and then he's the rookie. That's their dynamic. <laughs> so um, right now they're all reading Blanche Fratster's book that she wrote. Oh, look, it sparked his love for literature. How nice. 
Um, she wrote this book, um, and Blanche Fratster, by the way, is um, Gary's daughter, his youngest daughter. So when he got murdered, all his belongings and his inventory got transferred to her. And in these belongings, in his suitcase, he had a manuscript that um, she took and she reworked into this this novel. She wrote, that was also kind of like a call to um, the town to get, like, come together and try to reach the point that they were before that tragedy happened because that's like really what this whole project's about for them well like especially for blanche since she's um technically what's so interesting okay so gary's version i'll just like get into this real quick so gary's manuscript was a very sloppy ode of like grand delusions that seemed to be filled like fueled through um allison's presence and like love and strength <laughs> that he saw in her and Allison's the girl that he was cheating on his wife Demi with so um is also his boss she he worked at her club and he was like really obsessed with her for a while and then event like out of the blue she like fell in love with him so <clears throat> I don't know really what that was about because Gary wasn't wasn't well <laughs> okay <laughs> he was a little nutsy a little cuckoo so um but the words still surrounded Blanche as she wrote um the tale to be more readable she tells uh the story of Gary's tragic love and how he died before he was able to reach um the masses of black Ma the masses of black mesa and tell them how um they were gonna like come together and have a better society. Um, so she, um, yeah, so she tries to bring that to light or whatever. And it's just interesting because technically they are outsiders. They are, um, I think Demi was, I don't know what Demi, what kind of NPC or townie she was, but she got married in. She wasn't one of the initial six that I made to repopulate this um, map or whatever. So, like, they're outsiders trying to be like, hey, this is what we're supposed to be doing. Because, um, honestly, the first generation has been such a mess. Um, <laughs> it's been drama central with these people. And the kids are just fucked up. And we're just getting into this new generation becoming adults and having their own kids and seeing how they uh, navigate life. So, um, all right. So they're doing this. They're all going to finish reading pretty soon. I'm going to have Theliana cook something. She wants to um, get married, which I think is interesting because why not? Oh yeah, um, let's have him go to work real quick, and then I'll get rid of that later. I wonder if, um, Shay's hatred for Demi is gonna leak into the investigation. Because obviously she's one of the main suspects. So, their suspect list right now, Allison, Demi, and... I think that's it. That's like the main two. Because they're like the ones that were closest to him relationship wise. So it could be an extension off of them as well. Hey Aunt Charlotte, how are you doing? So whenever Brent gets back, <laughs> Brent, what the fuck? <laughs> whenever Kent gets back, Jeez. And I just renovated this house. This is a just like a huge lunatic house because obviously... Oh, no, she burned the food. Obviously, it's a huge lunatic town. A uh, custom neighborhood that they built and created for us to use. So, I made this kind of like the rundown part of town. There's like all these alleys and stuff. But they're like in a government-funded house, so whatever. 
He wants to get a pet. Oh my god, I forgot to take the pet. Uh, I mean, I forgot to put the pet, pet disabler want thing in. So she wants to be friends with Allison and with Paxton. Stylish Reno, right. I love that. That description. She can't believe she burnt the dumplings. Oh, is anyone a vegetarian in this house before I start? Let's go over their stuff, too. So, Thaliana here, she's eccentric, flirty, unstable, charismatic. I mean, she's an experiment. And adventurous. She's bought some shit in town. We've seen her around town throughout the... After I created her. And then Shay is an angler. He's brave. Vehicle enthusiast. He's a schmoozer. And he has commitment issues. And he's also a witch. I think they're all witches. Well, not all of them. Just, like, the guys. I think I made them both witches. Uh, Ken's brooding. Evil. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, charismatic, friendly, and clumsy. And he's also a, a witch, too. So I think I gave them all the self-employed. Yeah. So I'm going to have to give him that when he gets home. So I'll just queue it up. And we're going to have him um, take Allison out tonight to d have a discussion. And then these two are just going to kind of relax uh, digest the literature they just took in. I'll go over some case files, you know, stuff like that. Stuff like that. While they prepare for, like, what their angles are gonna be. And she has, um, <clears throat> powers, obviously, but we'll get more into that later. She wants to study mechanical, so what does that like she's learning <laughs> a case or something? Evidence files. All right, Shay Jacobson. What a name. Why can't I? Oh, I can. <laughs> he just wants to buy a bunch of shit. And kill Demi. But Demi has enemies of everybody. So, who knows? Maybe they'll put her in jail for it. What should be the... What should be the penalty for death? Like, for murder? I don't know how I'm gonna get... I don't, I don't have any ideas for that. Um, This is ridiculous. They don't have a house. <laughs> they don't have a big house for this. I guess I'll get him the stereo. I hope this is expensive enough. Bougie bitch, bro. Crap. There we go. Okay, it was good enough. Now he wants to learn how to do something productive. Good. Let's um learn how to make the meat dumplings then. Hopefully we don't burn them like her. No one's a vegetarian in this house, so I don't have to worry about that. Because I will forget. I don't think I have any mods that, like, actually do anything to my sins. I just don't want to disrespect them. <laughs> okay, she wants to keep studying. She wants to get a toy-making bench and a robot station. What are their lifetime wants? Oh, yeah, his is that. Is his that, too? No, his is the other witch one. Oh, yeah, when it's above the uh, counters and stuff. Isn't that dope? I didn't know that until, um, like, I think last year, which is hilarious. The things I don't know about this game are just honestly em embarrassing at this point. Well, that's what makes it so fun still. I've learned so much just, like, streaming and learning from everybody else. Yeah, but not over toddler toys. That's so weird. I do remember trying to do that. It's funny watching him dance, like, when there's no music playing inside the music. Oh. Um. 
He needs to go somewhere. Um, let's take him somewhere to do something. Oh, but he's about to come back, so never mind. Uh, no, they don't. I just started playing them. Hey, Dermatez. This is their first um, round in this uh, hood, so I haven't been able to do any of that yet. I just made them witches while I was setting them up. How do I even do that? I have to do a certain level, right? I really need to go into like the wiki. To be honest, okay, there's Kent. Yeah, take the job and self-employed because you're a fucking cop, dude. God. So embarrassing. He's the one who was talking to Allison, right? Yeah, so I don't know if she'll agree to come. But the thing is... Oh, we can fly a lot? Dude, hilarious. I forgot about that. The thing is, this town is so small, like, she's bound to show up anyway. So... Maybe we should all go. No, we're just gonna ask her. We're gonna ask her first. And if not, if she says no, we'll all go. Wow, what a fucking bitch. She's like, I'm married now. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna leave uh, Felina at home because they're dicks to her. <laughs> That's another dynamic I've decided, which, whatever. <laughs> Wait, jump rope? What am I talking about? There we go, fly a lot. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, you need a level five to, be f to get familiar. Thank you for telling me that. Yeah, I was about to pull it up, but then I got distracted. Oh, I just said we're gonna leave her home. A pillow, Cassius, Summerson, spin. Oh, okay. Uh, they ordered pillow for <laughs> order p a delivery potions from Oris. That'd be so funny. Yeah, and studying magic online. I think. Can you do, can you not do that with the hack computer? That's kind of strange. We're gonna go to the bar. Where all the good detective work happens, and Shay's gonna come with us. We're gonna go get drunk. Oh, it's a neutral spell? I guess that's true, because every, like, you know. Well, I mean, she's fine being here. She's getting aspiration points up the wazoo. Um, and we'll have her just, like, make some phone calls. Since she's the one who, like, wants to be friends with, like, everybody in town. Which I think is a good <coughs> angle to have. Because that's how we're going to get to know all the hot goss. So... Because they have, like, an okay understanding of, like, what Allison's done in this town. Because Allison took Demi's first husband, Nelson, married him, had a bunch of kids. Cheated on Nelson while Nelson was cheating on her with, um, the, with the mistress and the mister's spouse so there are a couple swapping without it without consent <laughs> and then um they got divorced Allison kind of got exposed in town and like and shit <laughs> look at them they're so cute hold on I need to get pictures of them what am I doing what is he doing? That's what I want to know. I kind of like am in love with these two already, to be honest. I hope they do something crazy when they drink. <laughs> they look like they're ready to get down to <laughs> business, dude. All right. So, um, so she kind of got like exposed in town for that. Um, uh, Nelson didn't get as much public ridicule because nobody really um, knew that he was cheating because he wasn't the one who got caught but anyways fast forward then she steals Demi's second husband 
And that's the one who died. Whoa! That was a plot twist. Oh my god. It's just got even better. He said no socks in front of a rebel. He wants to slow dance. You think he'll slow dance? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I did not see this coming. I did not plan this. <laughs> Is he even like women? No, I was gonna have him get with Allison. <laughs> That's funny. Like my whole storyline was gonna be him getting involved with Allison and her cheating on her husband. But never mind. Maybe he can fuck her husband. <laughs> See that bolts with him. Jesus. So that that's that one's dead. Oh, Demi's here, bro. <laughs> Demi mean, looks kind of fucking fire right now. Oh, shoot! Alright. I'm getting some good photos today. Also, I can only stream till, um, like, 3.15 my time at the very latest, so we might not get through everything today, and I am sorry about that. Whenever I, uh, loaded up my game earlier in the day to get on at, like, 12, I came back in from, like, working on schoolwork and, like, sitting on the patio, and my game got stuck loading, like not on the load screen, so I had to restart my computer and do it again. I was like, God damn. So that's why I was late. It takes forever from the first time to, to load up. All right, so this is awesome. He said, well, he made his choice, literally. So he wants to play with Tommy and he wants to become friends with Paxton. He also wants to gain a skill point. What does he want to do? He wants to play cards. We should honestly have him get involved with the card game of Demi. And then um, he can go ahead and order a drink. This is Blanche's makeover. We took her hair down, so. <coughs> He's like, hey Blanche, you just read your book. It was really good. And she's like, oh, thanks, dude. She's like, yeah, I think you got it right about what we need to do. Look at, look at him, like, looking around. He looks so, like... <laughs> Why does he look suspicious? He's like, so, uh, is there any way you can get a hold of that manuscript for me? And she's like, nah, dude. I gave that to Allison. And he's like, oh. Because he definitely wants to get his hands on the original. So maybe we can try to get Allison's husband to give it to us because maybe Allison's husband's a little jealous about Gary, even though he's dead. Carrot juice? It's a Paloma. Um, it's a, uh, I'm going to have another drink. It's a Paloma. It's from um, Jackie93Sims. It's her default replacement for the bar drinks. I do have it on my Tumblr under defaults. Uh, like the, you know, like the featured tag. I think I have a Tumblr thing. Yeah. That's my Tumblr. There she is. Um, I've had that Tumblr forever. The only thing that sucks about that default replacement, though, it is for both blended and on the rocks. I might take it out eventually and get one that, like, get one for each. But I feel like this alcohol mod isn't working. Because I feel like no one's doing anything fucking crazy yet. So maybe I need to get the higher one. Mm. All right. <laughs> also, Ava could be a suspect. This is Nelson Moon's wife, new wife, who is also um the the mistress 
from Allison's marriage. So she was the one who was married to Tommy. So. And we know, as a group, who killed Gary. It's not like a mystery to us. It's a mystery to everybody else. Oh my god, I forgot she's like into Ava. Here, let's go try to sit with her. Yeah, he'll make his way in the table and talk to people. Oh yeah, look. Look how mad he looks talking to her. Fucking hates her. <laughs> Miss Grimmel bought him the head vampire and the charlatan. They run those tables. That's hilarious. Oh shit. Took me out of the game. I gotta save this screenshot. Also, um, I decided I am going to um, make Mortimer an adult instead of an elder in Toxic Pleasant View. But he will have 13 days. Oh, thank you. I think so, too. Some days I don't take any. Some days, like, I just, like, am in it, you know? And that's why I want to feel good when I stream, too, because I'm not doing, like, what I would usually do if I'm not feeling good. I'm rushing it. Oh, look! They just became fucking enemies, bruh! And what is going on? What is he doing? Is he trying to annoy her? In front of her daughter, too? Because, <laughs> you know, that's, that's uh, her mama. This is so weird. I wonder if I can get, like, a better... Yeah. Hey, what the fuck is this interaction? I wonder if she's gonna try to fight us after drinking that. I still can't believe him and the cop are like gonna fall in love. Him and Kent, the 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 uh, veteran cop and the rookie falling in love. What a love story! <laughs> All right. Well, I think it's about time to wrap it up here at the bar. I think we're gonna um. Let's talk to Ava one on one a little bit. <coughs> Just kind of feel her out, you know. She seems like she's pretty open with him. Ava's so pretty. But what I was saying earlier about her being a possible suspect, but, you know. Oh, look! It's begun. Oh, she stopped drinking the drink. Oh, I think the mod's working. Oh, <laughs> right, literally. Oh, yeah, for I can't save here. Damn. Uh, Is he gonna drink that? <laughs> yeah, he just stole her drink. He said, well, she ain't gonna finish it. I am. It's pretty gross. <laughs> Yeah, so he, I feel like Kent's gonna not have any qualms about Ava, but what I was- God, see this is why I need to get a prescription for Adderall. <laughs> uh, let's fly home. Let me see if I can get, like, one with both of them having their brooms. Oh, they're just walking. Oh. Okay. But, um, she could want vengeance on Allison. You know what I mean? So she got rid of Gary. 
But her and Gary weren't out about their relationship yet. I mean, like, but they were hooking up in the middle of town, so. It's like nobody didn't. It's like nobody didn't know. Dang, we're gonna have to get uh, Thelina a man or a woman. I, I don't know her sexuality. Um, okay, we'll be back in six hours. So, let's have her, let's save real quick, actually. Let's have her get her uh, motives up, and then we'll have her call Allison and kind of talk to her, um, since we weren't able to... But we could still have Kent take Allison out as a friend. Another day. But maybe it will be uh, Thelina that does it. I love these fucking eyes. Tell me these aren't the baddest eyes you've ever seen. Like, god damn. So cool. I love her so much. Oh, she doesn't have um, any bolts of anybody. Interesting. I wonder what what's her chemistry? Where is that even? Here it is. She likes smarts in the undead. Okay, well, <laughs> that makes sense. Why she can't, she doesn't, um, a smart zombie? Mm. It's not like, not what they're supposed to be. <laughs> I mean, I know there's plenty of, uh, interpretations of zombies, but just in general. Um, so what just as vegetables is something I can serve, right? I can't remember for, yeah, it is. Okay. It's the hummus plate that I can't. Ooh, a vampire, you're right. I was also thinking about making Mortimer Goth and Toxic Pleasant View a vampire, but I want him to be able to go in the sun and for some reason, my sunlight immunity thing doesn't work for vampires. Like I get, like, I ha they, get, they put it in and it says, they drink the potion, they get the trait, and it's like, they have sunlight immunity, and then, like, they just don't have sunlight immunity. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe I have to, like, put it in load last or something, but... You know how long it takes me to do things? Oh, entirely too long. Oh, she doesn't have a phone. Okay, well, let's let her use the house phone, then. I'm not gonna give her a cell phone. I probably will by the end of the round, though. Let's be for real. Let's call Allison first. Since I kind of want to get her off the list. Or deeper on the list. It sounds like they're not having a good combo. <laughs> oh, yeah, they are not. He wants to go on a date. I might lock that in so they can go on a date together. Him and Kent. What did I put as their secondary? So he said knowledge secondary. and he, Oh, he doesn't have one. Let's make his a knowledge secondary too. Actually, no. Let's make him popularity so that way he wants to like... Actually... Let's make him a fucking pleasure. Let's make him like a shitty cop. <laughs> I feel like he's already gonna take his um, personal feelings about Demi and go way too far into the investigation. 
Let it leak through. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, look! We Get from it so long, problem. Right. Um. Who has the wow. best relationship with Tommy? Uh -huh. Twenty-four. Uh -huh. And zero. Problem, Baba Dad. Problem, Ed. Baba, I see no more. Oh, the dear. Oh, and um. So when Gary was murdered, Tommy was already engaged to Ava. So, um, while they were at the bar, and Kent was talking to Ava, he was asking about his her marriage with Nelson and how that came to be. And she was like, yeah, I was actually supposed to marry my first husband again. But after Gary Fratster was murdered, we had our wedding. And uh, he left me at the altar for, um, oh, I went to click on the toilet, but she didn't even have to pee anyway. For, it appears to be Allison, because they were supposed to get married. But they did not because, um, and she's going to go to bed early because she's a good cop. Actually, no, let's have her study somewhere. Okay. I told you she did not do that. Whatever. We'll have her just be in her pajamas, I guess. What is this? <laughs> I know it's the inaccessible bed thing, but. So, um. But they ended up not getting married because. <sighs> Tommy cheated on her with Demi. <laughs> See, they're all just like intertwined, all of them. So, like. They literally have to go through everybody. I think the guys are getting home. Maybe not. I think I just clicked out of it. <laughs> I'm going to have the guys stay up late and have a date here. When they get back. Okay. Okay, here we are. This is the this is what I wanted. Look how cute they are. I'm gonna have to go into um buy mode though. A build mode? Or are they both gonna have? God damn it. All right. Cause I want the sun, but I don't want the grid. Oh, kids! I do like a gridless view. Forgot how to do that. Oh well, I'll deal with it. It isn't like I'm gonna leave the background in anyway. Let's be for real. They are so adorable. And I wanna get one from uh, his front, Kent's front. <laughs> Literally, that's funny. Um, <laughs> they're just both so happy. Kate is so cute. I love him. All right, back to nighttime. Or should I have them go to bed? Date or bedtime? Because they can go on a date tomorrow night, actually. Let's do that. Uh, What's a logic skill point? So obviously that means I'm going to buy a telescope. <laughs> Duh. And honestly, I want another cupcake. That was not enough. Oh, come on. They're not gonna be able to do anything. Just put it out here, I guess. Fuck it. By the alley! <laughs> put it by the alleyway. What's happening with Stargaze? 
And he just wants a skill point. So his lowest is charisma. I don't think we have a mirror. So let's buy one. Mm. This is pretty bougie looking. Um. Maybe just like a one tile one. Um, but then he'll be in the way of the door, won't he? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> well, it's a double door, so they'll be able to use that. You want a lot of giant billboards on it? I know, isn't that pretty funny? I want uh, more neighborhood decorations. I just don't. I just don't know where to like who has made any. Do they have a bathroom here? Oh, they don't have. They don't have one. That's why I put one out there. They don't even have room for a sink. <laughs> I could change the uh, take that shower away though and give them the like the university shower. All right, everyone can kind of like start going to bed. So we'll have her go to bed. We'll have Kent go to bed. And I'm gonna put this in his invo, in his inventory. And then I'm gonna let him do his thing until he's ready to go to bed. Look, you hope he gets abducted. Cause why wouldn't I? Well, that was a bust. So he's gonna be in bed a lot later than everybody else, obviously. I'm gonna go ahead and save the game. Yeah, the medicine cabinet. I like that one too, but yeah, I don't, use it a lot though to be honest i should probably start using that more just for more simple day-to-day -day gameplay everybody has the day off today because they are self-employed um everyone should wake up around 10 except for this guy okay can't the first one up He wants to become best friends with Shay. Don't worry. That's definitely going to happen. Um, let's have him serve breakfast. Mm, let's do strawberry waffles. And I have a mod in my game that has them sleep till like 10 a.m. That's like the latest they'll sleep to instead of it being 6. Ooh, I love that. Oh, thank you, Nermatez. Definitely need that. Because you know me and my colors. <laughs> and it's just funny because I don't dress like that. I mean, I guess this shirt kind of is funky colored. But my outfit's mostly black. So maybe I do dress like this. Never mind, this is exactly the color scheme of my shirt. I'm a filthy liar. I'm lying right to y'all's faces. Alright, so she's up. She wants to see a ghost. Um, she didn't become friends with Allison, but they're pretty fucking close. So what I'm gonna do is have her call her right now. And see if we can get that want done. And then maybe we can ask her to come over tonight when the boys go on their date. Maybe not. Allison, don't fuck with us. 
<laughs> what a bitch. Let's go eat some waffles. Um, old boy is still in bed because he was up late stargazing. Mm. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Are you gonna eat? <coughs> okay, she like wait for him to leave to eat, sit down. Um, sure. Why not? He wants to talk about hobby. He wants to <laughs> give love to Peridot. So that's someone's pet. I forgot who that whose pet that is. But we need to after um period or something. Let's go ahead and put that away. And he doesn't really have any wants for anything except for like become friends with Paxton. <laughs> So I wonder if Paxton would go somewhere with us. I don't know. I have no idea yet. I don't know what we're gonna do. I think we might put them to death. Put them, put them in my electric chair. Because they're interfering. Whoever's found guilty is interfering with the, the greater good. You know, and that's not what the advisory is about. Especially if it's found to be an outsider of the, um, the, the families. And I'll get more into, like, what that means, I think, on day... Let's see where I wrote this down at. Oh. Today. <laughs> We're going to be talking about that today in day two. So, um, we said Paxton, right? Where is he? Paxton was a Gary's best friend who's also an outsider. He's married into the to one of the families. I don't really have anything better to do. I'll be over soon. That buys for Paxton. <laughs> Baby. Where should we take Paxton? We're gonna go by ourselves. Because I don't even think they know what they're supposed to do with um, the offender yet. They haven't been counseled on what to do. They just need to figure it out first. Let's put away these books. While we wait for them to come. The taxi. Did I already say we're going to the gym? I think going to the gym would be good. Oh yeah, Paxton's a bit rude. I was saying I have nothing better to do. I know, right? <laughs> like, okay. And what I'm actually going to do first, y'all, is do my ad break. Just 10 minutes early. Just so that way, whenever we're over um, there, I don't have to worry about it. So I can take my time. But um, it looks like Thelina is talking to that person on the phone still, that guy. Um, I don't know who that is. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'd, I would if I saw him like in, in, in sim person instead of just his thumbnail. <laughs> That sounds so funny. If I saw him in person. <laughs> Bitch, what? <laughs> Alright, so I'll be right back and then we'll get um, going on the second day and we'll learn more about what it means to be an outsider in Black Mesa and what it means to be a part of the six families.
I'm here. I'm here. Sorry. I had to get more cupcakes. So, forgive me, okay? Um, oh yeah, let me go ahead and open this link up. The Nermit is. Sent in the chat. All right. We're gonna go talk to Paxton. I have nothing planned for this. <laughs> But he is the one we are the closest to right now. Did it open? Oh, yeah, it did. I was like, what the heck? All right, now let me open the game. And let me get my Twitch app up. My Twitch app is You know? You know what I mean? Mush, 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 Okay. I'm going to share my stream too. <laughs> to my MacBook? Hell no. Um, dude, did you hear we're gonna have to start paying for Twitter? Like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not gonna share my fucking stream. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't know where to share it to. You. I'm already. We're gonna go talk to Gary's best friend. And then uh, Thaliana just got off the phone with that guy. Let's check that out. And Waylon and Andrew, I think he's a dormy. If I'm being honest. Oh, he also has Bolts of Dong Soul. He has more Bolts of Dong Soul than Shay, his partner, in both ways. Well, they're not dating yet. They just kissed and slow danced. Mini cupcakes are so like dangerous because I could probably eat 30 of these. <laughs> not way too much. And then hopefully, when the boys go out tonight, they can meet up. They can see Tommy. All right, we're at the gym. We're all good. Uh, detective work <laughs> occurs. I'm gonna say that about every single fucking lot we go into. I swear to God. I haven't touched this yet. This is how it um, comes when you download Black Mesa. Oh, they have the fucking obstacle course in this bitch. Damn, but no sauna. I wanted them to sit in the sauna together and have a conversation. Look, Demi's here. Do we have a relationship with Demi? I don't know. Let's see. Real quick. Real quick. Um, negative 11. Got it. Blanche is also here. Um, what could they do together? Let's offer lessons to Paxton. Hey, Joessa! Okay, don't act like you don't know who the fuck. Oh, well, never mind. He doesn't know who that is. Because, you know, he loves Gary. <laughs> Paxton's the one who went and recovered um, Gary's grave. <laughs> so they're talking about man shit right now, you know. <sighs> How many fitness points does he even have? He has three and he's offering him lessons. It's kind of ridiculous. I'm doing good. I can only stream for about 45 more minutes, which sucks, because I wanted to stream for longer, but I do have to get ready for work. I was on a little later than I expected, because I had to restart my computer, because my game got stuck loading on, like, the purple screen. 
I didn't know it because I was sitting outside for a long time waiting for it to load. Alright. I'm done doing this. Let's hang out. Alright. Let's do that one more time. Let's hang out. I'm saying... He's like, okay, so you, you said your days have been gloomier since Gary left. He's like, well, yeah, of course, bitch. He's like, but not gloomy. Have you read Blanche's book? Her legacy is going to be fantastic. She's using Gary's theories. And they are not getting along. Oh, I know, literally. Because I don't play windowed mode. I can't do it. Personally, I'm not strong enough. So, um, he's just collecting information about how him and Gary met, how him and Gary's relationship, like his first marriage was with Demi. And Paxton's like, well, you know, they only kind of got married because uh, Demi got pregnant with Annie, <clears throat> their first child. And they were living separately before that. Yeah, you can't do this. How do you, like, no thanks. <laughs> That's like too much of my muscle memory from the last 19 years. Oh, he's attracted to that Walden guy that called uh, Thalina. And he's like, oh, so that's interesting. So, how do you think his relationship with, was with Allison? He's like, well, Gary had his ways. His tendencies that were a little off-putting to me sometimes, but he finally uh, mustered the courage to leave Demi and go live his truth with Allison. But unfortunately, he wasn't able to reach that. So, um, let's do a tough handshake. And he's like, thank you so much for your time. Oh, no, we're playing the cops. We're investigating Gary's murder. Uh, I finished un university the other day. Um, and then I got on last night for like 45 minutes because my stomach started to hurt. <laughs> my tummy hurt. Hey, can we take the photo or what? Um, man, I am so bright right now. This light outside is crazy. Um, all right. Let me save the screenshot real quick, y'all. But Ken's like, thank you so much for your time. Um, is there anybody that you think I should talk to next? And, you know, Paxton has had his suspicions about Tommy the past couple rounds since this incident has happened. Um, Tommy was also one of Gary's best friends, but, you know, he didn't, he hasn't expressed as much grief as anybody else has. Um, and then we're gonna go talk, oh, not, um, Oh my god, Blanche and Demi are having a bad encounter. Which buys because... Oh, there's Alex. Blanche's fiance. Is she running towards? <laughs> so... Th oh, she's talking about like where she... Where Gary's from. Gary's from uh, the Vacation Destination Worlds. He can't, can't really can't really say anything um, in front of Blanche because he doesn't want 
Blanche should not be cooperative if she thinks they're going after her mother. But, um... Kent's like, okay, we should go talk to Tommy. So he's gonna bring that up to the to the others. Yes, yes. So they're like a team. Um, Kent was already a cop. Hold on, y'all. Sorry, I know. But um, Kent was a cop. But he got um, he's given this is like his chance to like become a detective. It's like his first case as a detective. Uh, Shay is the redhead. He's a senior detective. Um, they're both witches. And then Thel, uh, Thelina here. We're actually going to get into more of her lore in a minute. But she was created in a lab. Like the others. So, he'll be back in four hours. Uh, let's have her go. Oh, he'll, he's in the shower, so never mind. I think that's. Yeah, she wants us to be mechanical. Let's let her do that. Uh, I'm gonna save right here too. But we'll have her go shower after Shay gets out of the shower. So, um, there, this investigation team was assembled by the advisory who, you know, runs the academy. And he, they also run the town. Um, but we've just introduced them as the advisory. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have him eat real quick and then um, use the bathroom. And he wants to play a computer game. Do they even have a fucking computer? I'm dumb, it's right here. And then he wants to watch a movie and write a novel. Oh, maybe we should have him just work on his own book. Because he was so inspired by Blanche's book, he wants to contribute to the literature of Black Mesa. That'd be interesting. Alright. We'll have her get ready for the day now. Let's talk about peaceful and better sunny days for the city. Lots of money, lots of magic. We'll just have Harry Potter <laughs> as the cover. Um, and we'll just have him work on that whenever he has the want to like write a novel. I don't know why that didn't work, but whatever. She. Oh, did he not finish his fit either? Those things like really like fill their hunger up a lot. She wants to be friends with Allison still, so I'm just gonna have her call again. Because I think we're gonna invite Allison over tonight. If we can get her to be our friend. But she might come over anyway. <clears throat> Okay, this game friends, good. No, she wants to be friends with Paxton. Who is a, who would be good for all of them to be friends with? Because he's golden, obviously. He's a golden boy. Look, now she's already like, well, are we actually friends? Bitch, we just got off the phone. Um, she needs to play, so she's bored, so let's let her play a game. And Kent's getting home now. So I think they should all come sit down. Alright, let's have them all come sit. Brent is so cute. Brent. I keep calling him Brent. Why do I do this? Why am I like this? Alright, here comes Shay. Oh, 
Having their little tea meeting. What's that for me? What's that like? What's that for me? What's that for me? Let's see. All right, so Kent's catching them up to speed with his um, gym trip of Paxton and how he told him about how he should check out or talk to Tommy because he's been being weird since the whole murder. And they both agree and they said, yeah, definitely. Um, every time we've seen him in town, he's been kind of like evasive and really weird. Just a weird energy that's been giving off. So Shay and Kent are like, okay, well, we're going to go out and hopefully run into him. And Thaliana is like, I'm coming too, right? And they're like, no, you're going to stay here because they don't respect her. So um, <laughs> she's going to stay here and study. She wants to get a logic skill point too, so maybe we can do that later. But these two are gonna go on a date. Um, oh, what's what's blowing the kiss? Because by the way, I took them to the bar on the first day. If you weren't here for like the first day of gameplay earlier, and. <laughs> Uh, it was like in my notes, like in my like storyline, I was gonna have Kent and Allison have an affair, but um, so Kent is gay, and they like kissed as soon as we got to the bar. So I was like, oh well, I guess they're falling in love. So I'm more than okay with that. And it just adds to like them not wanting Thelina around. Because they want to do this together, but they, honestly, they really need her because she has like these abilities that they obviously don't have. But they're just a mess. Um, let's ask on a date. Oh, <laughs> and then um, we'll fly to a lot so they can fly the lot together. Hey. Okay, now I'm scared he's like not gonna be able to ask before it times out. Oh no, he can. Alrighty. So we're gonna go and hopefully Tommy shows up. Um Let's go to the fucking strip club. Let's do that. Let's just go here. Oh, so I guess he's just following. So Thelina's pissed. She's like, whatever, I'll invite Allison over. Even though technically she'll be at the bar too, but whatever. We'll pretend like that doesn't matter. You didn't see anything. <laughs> and the, yes, they're both witches. Um, I don't think I made her a witch. I know I know I didn't make her a witch. I don't know what I'm gonna make her. Cause she's just like her own thing, you know? She's like a, a different type of creature. And then uh, we're gonna have this little, hopefully Tommy shows up. I feel like Tommy would show up to the strip club. Um, the name of this club is now Love Bites. Um, we haven't set up a memorial yet for Gary, but um, I'm pretty sure we're doing the club this next, uh, during this round, this rotation. So, cause her clubs only open certain days of the week. And there she is in all her glory. And this is like her original business. Look, she's, oh, <laughs> look, here's Kia. There's Alex at bartending. Oh my god, is Allison gonna get a fucking lap dance? <laughs> what if- Oh my god! She just changed. What the fuck? What if, um... 
people did like clap at strippers like that, like when they were doing a good job. Um, so I guess we gotta sign up. We gotta pay to be here. That's fine. We're getting that from like the government anyway. I think I'm gonna give them fifty thousand a week. Just be absolutely obtuse. There's Bruce. I actually called him the right name this time. I don't know who Grant is. He's new. Um, there's Chip. Uh, Chip should not be here. Um, yeah. Nah, dude. No teens allowed. Okay, so he's talking about being a witch. Uh, they both want to talk, so let's go ahead and brag brag about his cop accomplishments so they're supposed to they're just here waiting for oh my god she got naked she's here waiting for um <laughs> Tommy um to show up hopefully so pillow fight entertain so we're just gonna do all this until hopefully that happens <laughs> One of them could call him, too. I feel like he has a decent relationship with him. Let's see if we can call him to come over. Oh, he did not like that joke. But he wants to be best friends with him. Invite over. Always a pleasure. Where are you going? Not him getting his own lab dance. What the heck? I can't even answer <laughs> the routing is off. Mm. Oh my god, are you getting one too? Oh no, he's just coming. Okay, let's go ahead and order drinks. Stupid. <laughs> Okay, he's gonna go use the uh, the outhouse. Where's Tommy at? Demi's here too, so we could talk to her some more. Oh, there's Tommy. So we should definitely talk to him. <laughs> he looks like he's just like talking to the dancer. It's kind of funny. This is how it works. For real. I've been there. <laughs> I will have to like set the things different. Oh, can I actually do that now? Because I don't want her to be. I want her to always be in her underwear. That's what I thought I had it assigned to, but it's okay. Oh my god, now Kent's gonna get one. Can we give him one? That'd be funny. No. Oh my god. Just two partners. Not her being in the shay though. Did Tommy finally come in? Dude, he needs to hurry up. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is great. <laughs> what a what a day. Okay. Angie's just judging, I feel like. She's like, my husband comes here all the time. This is like what goes on. Bryce is always here. Mm, I kind of want to get it from this angle. Um, we need to hire more people for her club. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Look at his face. He's swooning. Are you gonna get out of the chair? He's like, I'm not getting out until I get a lap dance. So I'm just gonna reset you, Kent. Go here. Tommy! Greet him! Greet him! Greet him! Greet him! Greet him! Oh man, he didn't want to pay to get into the strip club. So this is like a total bust. I mean, we could talk to Demi <laughs> some more. Um, let's just talk to her. He's like, so what do you think about Tommy? And Demi's like, what about him? He would never do anything wrong. No, you're done. Here, let's... Let's have them dance instead. Why is she so embarrassed? What is she inciting her to, I wonder? Maybe to take a break. They're so cute. Okay, that, is that not dancing? Oh, it's a dance kiss. That's right. Um... That's classic dance. So t uh, Demi gave raving reviews about Tommy, but Kent's like, okay. Oh, they're gonna go casual dance somewhere else. <laughs> Near the poles. Time is running out. What the fuck? Okay, we need to give a back rub. I have been neglecting them. I mean, Shay, you were getting a fucking lap dance for like seven hours. Alright, now he's running out of wants, so he wants to flirt with him. So let's try to hold his hand. Um, he wants a classic dance, he also wants to play. We'll just tickle him real quick. And then he also wants to be best friends, so I usually take that want as an opportunity just to go fucking ham on the romantic interactions. So hopefully that will help. It's so like the stripper went home. It's only 11 o'clock. Okay, good. We got two more hours. We did it. We did it, boys. Oh, he wants to make out with him. It's a little more racy than they've done. They could hook up right here too, on the couch. Oh, bam. Oh, they're best friends. Oh, oh shit, they might fall in love. Fall in love with the strip club. I never could do that. Never figured that one out. Tried to a couple times. What is going on? Oh, she's selling. She's selling. And everybody's coming now. So, like, Demi's here, Ava's here. We can ask Ava more about Tommy, because she was telling us a little bit about that situation. But I think I want to just concentrate on them for the rest of the, the time. He wants to have a great date, so I definitely want to, um, I mean, a, a dream date, so I definitely want to try to do that. Oh, he wants to make out again. He wants to soak in hot tub. Would that count if we uh, woohooed in the hot tub? Oh. <sighs> Allison said, fuck, you're dancing. You need to go sell. Oh, it did count. 
Oh look, he wants to have his very first woohoo and woohoo with him. Oh, him too. Ava, get out of here. We're not trying to have some investigative time. We're trying to investigate each other. Can't believe I just said that. They're cute though. They finally they have their dream date, so they're good. And he just got that, those wants too. He has to stay home from work, technically, you stay home from work every day. So, let's go ahead and go home. This date's about the end, anyway. They both need to pee. They haven't fallen in love yet, but they both have, like, above 70. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do with them after they solve the case, or what they think is, like, the case closed. So, um, we could do a lot of things with them. There's a lot of opportunities. Um, maybe we could actually have them own a restaurant together or something. A romantic little spot in town people can go to to go fall in love because with the romantic standards mod, uh, there's a couple of different factors that like help you fall in love. <laughs> but I think it might take them because they're not they're not gonna solve it this round. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Um, but definitely I'm hoping next round I can set up the story good enough in round eight. Um, for them to make their decision on who the advisory needs to counsel. So. Um. So before I get off, we are going to play the rest of the day. So, like, we're going to wait for them to get home and everyone go to bed. So that way, next time I play the other two days, um, I will also, if we have time, the next time, I will play the next family. Which, I don't know who that is. I think it might be Tommy. Oh, you spin my head right round, right round. When you go down, you which one is it again? It's this. Okay. So I forgot to fix it. <clears throat> Italiana is pissed that she's stuck at home, but she's actually going to call Allison over. And she's going to use her powers, her hypno powers that she has. Okay, she says, sounds great to get more information on Tommy through Allison. Because the boys are trying, that's what they went to go do. They tried to go meet up with Tommy, but they're not really good at their job. <laughs> so let's go ahead and greet Allison. Oh, they, they're naturally doing the kiss-kiss interaction. That's kind of interesting. Oh, it took me out of the game. Save as. I almost overrode a screenshot. I've been tragic. I've been tragic. You know, I have to go to work soon. <laughs> I'm so upset. Oh. But I had to open up my availability because I need to fucking make money to live. Ooh. But, anyways, so we're gonna actually have her come inside 
We're going to grill her some hot dogs. And Allison's gonna get down while we grill. And then we're gonna go ahead and... Oh, don't you love this stove? It's like a double stove, isn't that cool? We're gonna call guest Samil. And we're gonna eat some hot dogs and talk about Tommy, hot dog. Um, so, um, Allison's kind of a hard cookie to crack. She always seems to be very calculated in everything she does, and everyone really thinks it's suspicious that Gary died right after he switched his life insurance over to her. So Thaliana wants to know about what <laughs> Jesus, what um Allison knew about that before everything, and how their relationship started. And so Allison's like, well, Gary was always flirty and making moves towards me and I didn't really appreciate him at the time but he kind of won me over one night and we decided we our love was strong enough to actually go public and get married and take on oh my god I almost had her kiss her go on to do great things and expand our businesses because he was a thing about money 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 and that's what she's about too so she's done for hot dogs, so she's gonna still talk. Oh, she's still talking. Look, she does not shut up. So, um, Allison claims that she had no idea that Gary had already switched over the um, life insurance, but they were planning on getting married right after he divorced Demi and left her. So, like, he was on his way to do that. You know, let's admire her. She's like, okay, well, what do you think about Tommy and his relationship? She's like, well, you know, Tommy really hated that I was sleeping with Gary because I was with Tommy first, but there's just something about Gary that's different for Allison than anybody else, and she, she doesn't think Tommy would hurt a fly. Was he voted? But we know better than that, don't we? So Talion is like, okay, well, he was really mad about it. And she's like, yeah, we actually, uh, he caught us hooking up at the mall when we were sneaking around. And, um, hmm. Your Zuli is calling for Kent, which is interesting. Maybe she has some um, information that she overheard from her parents or something. So, um, here, yeah, what's her kind of gossip she has? Caught them hooking up at the mall and then started a big fight with them. And, like, she had to beat his ass. She's talking shit about Kent. What about him? Just that I hate him. That's. That <laughs> but we're gonna thank her for coming over. She didn't actually have to hypnotize her today. She got enough information out of her because Allison's actually really likes Thaliana. Um, and Thaliana is going to go ahead and um, study some more into the six families of the past, which are what each of my basic sims that we created to repopulate this neighborhood are based from. So there's these big six families, you know, the Moon family, the Love family, the Frost family, the West family, the Hoffman family, and the Ross family. And patriarchs and matriarchs of those families would put their DNA away in a um, laboratory that was ran by the advisory each generation and 
after the gray white flash or whatever whatever it is um the advisory took this dna to create ava allison nelson uh bruce um medusa tommy yep those six and um Thaliana is made by the advisory as well in the same laboratory so we don't really know who her dna is from obviously it's something a little maybe more sinister but those families um in their past have a lot to do with how the original six are acting and how their lives have um, evolved. So, let me see. So now, uh, while the boys are out playing grab ass with each other, Th uh, Thaliana is um, researching the Moon family, which is Allison's ex, Nelson, who um, she cheated on with Tommy. And um, that family was the big landlords in town. They owned a lot of the um, the apartments, just like residential properties in general. And they feuded with the Love family um, a lot, who ran um, the club scene at the at the at the Black Mesa pool that's here. So. Yeah. We'll get more into like those stories later. I'm pretty sure in day Yeah. I'm gonna get into like each family and like what they did and all that stuff too. Why? Because I am on it. I'm on one. So she figures that out, and that's really interesting for her because um, Allison can't help but talk about her dismay for Nelson. And it, like, kind of leaks into every conversation for her. It's kind of like everything she does is to, like, prove Nelson wrong. Or to, like, get some kind of vengeance. So she really wants to talk to Nelson. Um, so tomorrow, as in tomorrow in Sim World, um, she will be contacting Nelson, um, who she already knows. Look at them just showing them. They're so cute. Who she already knows, um, and inviting him somewhere so they can discuss what Tommy sees not what Tommy sees what Nelson sees in um how Gary and Nelson's Gary and Allison's relationship went and how it was navigated and if maybe Allison has a pattern so that's what that's gonna be about and also question him about his feelings for Tommy because she got a little bit from Allison about being like, oh yeah, I mean, he was like a raging rage ball about her relationship with Gary, seeing that was his best friend. But um, also was like, no, he wouldn't hurt anybody. But she doesn't really, she doesn't fall for that. But unfortunately, I do have to get off another short stream. This is like half the time I like to stream, basically. Well, it's almost two hours. Yeah. Um, I do have to get ready for work and work on some stuff before I go to work. Um, the next time I'm streaming is Saturday. Actually, I don't think I'll stream Saturday. 
because I have to help my family out and I might hang out with one of my friends um, at night. But um, Sunday for sure. And um, we'll probably play my Uberhood. But I'm not too sure. We'll see what I'm feeling on Sunday. But all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and see who I can raid. Is there anybody I follow on? There was an error. Okay. So let me go ahead and re. Try that. Oh, um, Jelly Bean, but also Sammy Sundogs on. Sammy Sundogs, fun. They do a really good um, stream, pretty good show, so I'm going to raid them, but I'm not going to stay in there. I'm just going to raid and dash, so y'all enjoy watching them. Love you guys. Bye.